morning everybody welcome to an easter weekend vlog i have the bank holiday kind of off i have friday saturday sunday and then i have one lesson 11 30 till 1 30 on monday so it's not too bad but i thought i would vlog the bank holiday i don't think i'm even gonna vlog monday but i thought i would just vlog today tomorrow and easter to show you guys what i get up to um the weather's gonna be okay today and tomorrow not as hot as it was this last week which that's actually in another vlog that's coming a really really random vlog that's just completely pieced together from other days but this one is gonna be dedicated to easter pretty much all of my friends are home except for lucy lou and Sarah, but Freya is coming back on Sunday for Easter. Um, so me, Lucy Lou and Sarah are just gonna entertain ourselves. Sarah is also like classed within our lipa support bubble now. I've literally just had a shower to wash off my fake tan and I have put back on like my just massive collusion t-shirt. And I have my speaker going. I'm gonna open my window, get some air in here. I've got my speaker on and I am listening to Demi's new album. It's currently 25 to 10. I woke up without an alarm this morning. That was so lovely not having to set an alarm because even on the weekends, because I've only got like two days off school at the weekends, I like to get up. I normally set my alarm for like nine on the weekends just because I still like to make the most of the fact that I have free time. But I naturally woke up at about 10 past nine. So that's fun. So I literally just hopped in the shower, got off my fake tan, because I put a fresh layer on last night. As you can see, I did not do my hands well. And now I am just gonna make my bed. I'm loving this album so far. It's such a different vibe. I'm just gonna do my five minute journal now. Guys, I'm actually shook. Just doing my five minute journal and at the top of each page, they give you a quote. And the day I'm listening to Demi's new album, the quote is from Scooter Braun. How crazy is that? What a coincidence. My mind is blown by that. I'm literally listening to her new album the morning it's come out. And the bloody inspirational quote is from Scooter Braun. Anyways, I'm gonna finish. make breakfast because I'm hungry but I also kind of wanted to walk and get coffee from this amazing coffee place that we found. I think I'm gonna have breakfast, have a cup of tea and then walk to get a coffee later on this morning. Oh my god you guys, I finished listening to the album and I sobbed. I absolutely sobbed. I was in bits. I could not breathe. Like I couldn't even talk. Like Freya was like, is it good? And I was like, <laughs> Like I could, I literally couldn't breathe. I couldn't get the words out. Why is my arm looking like this on camera? Because I do not have this patch in real life. I swear to you guys, it's not there. It's five past 11. I'm gonna walk and go get coffee with Sarah. There is the most amazing place um, really near me. Um, coffee shop that I've discovered called 92 Degrees. Um, Nan introduced it to me last week. So I think we're gonna walk there just to get some fresh air this morning be because I need to edit pretty much all afternoon. So before I settle in to the editing seat, I'm gonna just have some fresh air, walk, go get a nice iced coffee because it's nice weather today. It's not super hot, but the sun is shining and it is warm. Before I do that, I feel like my skin is looking so like dull because I've just been crying that I think I'm gonna do a little at home spa treatment. So this morning I washed my face with my Luna Mini 3, which is actually currently upstairs in the bathroom. But what I'm gonna use is my UFO 2 device from Foreo. This is amazing. It's a little at home like spa facial treatment it's incredible and it literally takes two minutes I have three different face masks to choose from so the Manuka honey which is revitalizing the coconut oil which is nourishing and the Bulgarian rose which is hydrating I think I'm gonna go for the Bulgarian rose this morning because I need a bit of hydration back in my skin just a little bit of info about this mask it's key ingredients are Bulgarian rose and jojoba oil it replenishes the moisture in your skin for a perfectly hydrated complexion which is exactly 
exactly what I need right now. It refines the appearance of dull, dry skin, which is exactly what I feel my skin looks like, and it's just not feeling super soft. It just boosts your radiance, which, like I said, my skin's just looking so dull. This is exactly what I need right now. And FYI, all of these masks are made with naturally sourced ingredients from all over the globe. They're natural and plant-based masks, which is just absolutely incredible. You want to know that everything that you're putting on your skin is ethical and, you know, good, not full of nasty ingredients. Not only will this mask boost my skin now, but the UFO2 device in conjunction with the mask also helps to boost the effect of your normal daily skincare regime. So my moisturizers, my toners, all of those things that I've put on my skin this morning after I washed my face with the Luna Mini 3 are gonna sink deeper into my skin once I have used my UFO 2. And therefore it's gonna boost the effect that they all have on my skin as well as the effect that the mask has on my skin. I am just gonna whack my mask into the UFO 2 device and then we'll get going. My mask is on the device. Let me just give you a quick close up. This is what it looks like. Ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the Foreo app and connect my device to my phone. This is one of the reasons why the UFO2 device is one of my favorites within my skincare routine because it is just so easy to use. You connect it to your phone, you can run the treatment through your phone. So I'm just gonna press start, treatments, and let my device connect. I'm gonna select that I'm doing Bulgarian Rose and this is like a pre-worked out treatment, although you can play around on this app and kind of customize your own treatment. It talks you through it, but I've just muted it for the sake of this video, but it is literally two minutes and I don't know if you guys can see, but it has a red LED light right now. The LED light therapy has so many benefits to your skin that I will talk you through once I have done the treatment. The treatments only last two minutes. It is so quick, especially considering the impact it has on your skin within those two minutes. The device has started to cool down now. It was really warm. It was using heat therapy along with the red LED lights and now it is using cryotherapy. So it is cooling. It's so refreshing. I absolutely love the cooling technology. On mornings like this, when you do just want to be refreshed, it makes your skin feel incredible. So revitalizing, do you know what I mean? Not to brag guys, but I'm I'm gonna be glowing after this. You can probably also hear the sound of this. That is the T-Sonic pulsations that the device uses. Oh, my skin feels incredible. And it just looks so much more radiant. I don't know if you can see in this lighting right now, but my skin is literally glowing. Just to talk to you guys a bit more in depth about those features that I mentioned while the mask was going. The thermotherapy mode preps your skin and enhances the skin's absorption of the mask ingredients, which is kind of what I mentioned to you guys before. And then the cryotherapy, which like I said, is probably my favorite step just because I love Love the cooling device on my skin. I find it so refreshing. Refreshes and instantly lifts your skin. It makes it firmer, it shrinks puffiness and pores. There's basically nothing bad about this mask is what I'm saying to you guys. The T-Sonic pulsations stimulate blood microcirculation and better absorption of skincare products once more. So it's just facilitating that skin renewal. The different LED lights that I spoke to you about provide targeted photo facials and they are one of the things that in the customizable part of the app you can kind of play around with. Like I showed you, you control it all through the app and the app contains unique treatments that are kind of catered to each mask so that you're reaping the benefits of each individual mask and you know that what the device is doing is in correlation with the mask ingredients and basically just giving you like the best little two minutes of pamper time and skincare loving ever. I kid you not guys, it literally feels like you're in a spa. It is better than a spa and it's at home. It's super quick. It's super easy. It's so convenient because it connects to your phone. Just in case you guys didn't want to take my word for it, here is literal photographic evidence of how incredible the UFO2 device has been for my skin. You can see in the before picture, my skin looks so dull. I had a couple of breakouts, a lot of texture and after a couple of months of using this device regularly, you can just see how much more glow my skin has and it's really minimized the appearance of pores, of pigmentation, of texture on my skin. I mean, these photos speak for themselves. There is gonna be a link to the Foreo website so that you can get your hands on these amazing devices, the UFO2 and the Luna Mini 3, which I mentioned kind of briefly that I have just been loving using to wash my face in the mornings and the evenings. So you can head on over to the Foreo website, have a browse of their products and get your hands on a UFO2 because I just feel like in these times, we all just need a bit more self-love and taking some time out of your day to give yourself that self-love is just absolutely incredible and your skin will thank you so much for it. Anyways, now that I'm, my skin is feeling refreshed and glowy, I am gonna throw on an outfit. 
and we're ready to go. This is the outfit I've just thrown on. I might try and get an Insta while I've got no makeup on, you know, kind of glowy. Soak up the little skincare I've just done. I'm a couple of minutes late for Sarah, so we're just gonna run off. Oh, she's texting me. Look at her. Oh my God, look how cutie weetie she is. Oh, she's shy. <laughs> there she <I> is. <laughs> Golden hour. <laughs> this is the coffee shop, 92 degrees if you're in Liverpool. Look at her modeling it. Just a couple of girlies having fun. Arr, two girls in the town. <laughs> I love Woohoo! I'm gonna do a taste test live on camera. Oh, oh my god. The best coffee in Liverpool, I swear to God. Yeah. I've tried a lot of places. So, really recommend 92 degrees. Score free Free loofah! <laughs> exactly what I needed. <laughs> yeah. We've just been walking down the road having a sing song. And so I read a book, or maybe two or three. Just wonder when will my life begin? <laughs> kind of embarrassing ourselves right now. So, I just got back from our little morning walk. It was lovely getting out in the sunshine getting some fresh air having a lovely delicious coffee um i've just sat down and watching just my luck i am going to edit the instas we took some pictures while my skin was looking so radiant from the ufo2 um and i went out with no makeup and i rarely do that unless i'm like going into lipper on the weekends if i'm going out to get instas i always have makeup on so we seized the opportunity with the sun shining and got some instas so yeah while i watch this i am going to sit and edit some instagram pictures right i've just edited and posted some instagram pictures from this morning it's 10 to 1 and i think i'm gonna make lunch for something like fresh and healthy do you know what i mean i'm gonna have some avocado and rice cakes right so we actually didn't have rice cakes but luckily i had some um bread in the freezer so i've just got avocado on toast with some everything but the bagel seasoning which i absolutely love and a coke because i thought you know it's nice weather i'll treat myself hi everyone don't know why i said that like that as you can see i have put a face of makeup on um i have literally just been sat here all afternoon editing it's half four i edited a video to go up tonight i've uploaded it i've made the thumbnail i began editing another and then i thought you know what it's friday i was thinking it was saturday i was like it's friday i can edit this video tomorrow morning because it is a brand deal and it does need to be submitted asap but ASAP is like Tuesday. I am just sat watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I watched the new episode and then I got bored because it finished while I was doing my makeup. So I just put on an old episode of like Courtney and Kim Take Miami or something like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill. Hey girls. Hey girls. We are gonna have some drinks this evening. I've just thrown on a little, do you wanna give your OOTM the outfit right. of the night? I um, so will do it in the mirror. This is mine. I've got on my birthday outfit just because this is comfy and like it's a big jacket that covers me up and I'm bloated. Little top from ASOS and then this is a co ord from ASOS. I'm wearing black cargo pants. This is from Urban Outfitters. Super duper cute. So basic. I know we'll go and get one now that I'm sorted out what I'm wearing. It's, it's can you bleep this out? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> you're never gonna find out. Anyways, we're gonna go and get a drink now. Mm. So this was a really pointless little thing. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. We had a couple of drinks last night. Feeling okay this morning. I feel like if lockdowns made me realize anything, it's like I used to be such like a, oh, I want to go to parties. I want to see everyone. And now I'm so not and I am so satisfied just spending every weekend drinking alone with just the girls. Yeah, so we had a lovely night drinking. We fell asleep again like we did last weekend watching Pretty Woman. The two of them just sneak out and leave me sleeping. But I woke up at like 20 past four in the morning, kind of put myself to bed properly. But I set an alarm because I, I hate sleeping in on the weekends past like half nine, ten. Like I set my alarm for ten this morning and I was up at probably like ten to. Yeah, I just like to make the most of my weekends. I like to make the most of my time off. I have just thrown on a really comfy outfit. Just some really like stretchy baggy culottes from ASOS, a little purple um, racerback vest, denim jacket, air force, um, 
and I'm just gonna take my bag and I am going to go get coffee and a croissant, I think. on a cardigan I couldn't get any cute clips with my coffee because I didn't have the hands for it I'm a really big microwave advocate when it comes to things like this I don't really vibe with a really super crispy pastry I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my coffee and my croissant that was like the first time I've like done a walk like that on my own social anxiety things I was on the phone on the, my mum on the way back like are you proud of me um, even though it was literally five minutes up the road. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these. I had my coffee and my croissant, thoroughly enjoyed. I always think that this hairstyle looks cute and I look in the mirror and it looks cute and then I get on camera and I need to hold it like this for you guys to actually be able to see it. Yeah, today needs to be kind of a productive day. I kind of just want to enjoy tomorrow with Easter because Freya's coming back and her mum has bought us stuff to make a roast dinner and we've literally never made like a proper roast dinner before. We had, there was one night where we just kind of accidentally did one but it was only a small one. It was like we literally just did roast chicken and then we bought some Yorkshire puddings but if there's no roast potatoes is it really a roast dinner? So I'm like I kind of just want to be able to like enjoy, I've had a week without Freggy, do you know what I mean? And I kind of just want to chill tomorrow and enjoy that with Freya. So today what I need to do is um, an assessment that shouldn't take me too long um, for a module that we finished before Christmas but it's kind of like a quick assessment it's like a worksheet we have to fill out but it's like a bit more than a worksheet like you have to like write paragraphs on it I want to get that done today because that's due in in two weeks and I almost forgot about it I want to edit a video they're like the two main things that I need to do today I kind of do need to get instas for a brand but I don't know if that's going to happen today because I don't know if I want to put makeup on but then equally I won't want to get them tomorrow I can get them on Monday afternoon. I think it's going to be crap weather. Right, so I might also need to get Instas. Anyways, basically I'm going to have a productive day. What I'm going to do now is edit this vlog. And I'll be back with you guys. Oh god, I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I have set everything up to film a reel. So I have got my camera batteries on charge because I didn't think this far ahead. My ring light and my camera and I'm going to film in front of here. You can just see like this basically just the stairs and then in Freya's room I'm using it as my little dressing room um, because I need to keep this door open and I can't be getting changed with the door open and I've picked out all of the outfits and laid them out I'm gonna let my camera battery chop mm, actually do you know what it's probably gonna die like two outfits in but let's just give it a go and hope for the best as you can see I look very different I actually don't know when the last time that I vlogged was I feel like it might have been when I was doing my reel but I filmed that I edited it I got it up then Sarah came and we literally just took pictures like still on campus we did not go very far for them um and i got the branded pictures that i needed to get and i also got like a thumbnail kind of for the reel posted the reel edited the brand pictures ready to go up at some point and then i've just been on facetime to my best friend at home and my mum for like the last two hours so i've had kind of a really productive day lucy lou and sarah are coming over at half six it's currently ten to six um and we're gonna have our little takeaway movie night so i've taken all of my makeup off i'm in my pjs i'm so ready i also just washed my um face properly and did like all of my lovely skincare cleansed my skin properly with my luna mini 3 which i just love makes my skin feel so soft afterwards but yeah i'm just gonna kill some time now and chill hi everyone so i'm looking like this because we just watched the time traveler's wife me and lucy Lou have seen it before <laughs> let's just get a closer look at this <laughs> I was crying so hard and then Sarah was crying so hard <laughs> that it snapped me out of the emotion of the film because I was actually concerned for how hard Sarah was crying. <laughs> well, the camera really just picks it all up, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. Guys, if you're thinking about watching The Time Traveler's Wife, don't do it unless you... No, you're, you need to do it. You're if you've never seen it, you need to do it. It's just been put on Netflix and I just remember, like, I've not watched it in years, but I just remember when I was younger, I used to 
literally stream at it. But Sarah was so loud in her crying <laughs> that I thought she was actually like could not breathe. It was just a lot. If I think about it, I'll start crying. Okay, let's not talk about it. It anymore. was worse. Can we though. change the topic? This is not the vibe for the vlog. This, Sorry, is, vlog. this is not the vibe of the vlog, so I'm gonna speak to you guys in the Bye, morning. Vlog. I picked up my camera to vlog and then those bloody church bells started going off and I literally live next to the cathedral. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is Easter, happy Easter. I know you're seeing this a few days late. Um, the disrespect is boiling. You can still bloody hear them. Should we go into Freya's room? Let's go into Freya's room and see if you can hear them in there. What was I gonna say? Yeah, happy Easter. We're a bit backlit, but you know, you win some, you lose some. As you can see, I've got wet hair. I have washed my hair and I'm kind of dreading blow drying it because it's really hot in my room because the sun is just beaming in. I've washed my hair, I've just eaten my breakfast and brought my cup of tea upstairs. I'm basically just gonna get ready this morning. Um, I wanna make an effort because it's Easter. I think I'm gonna put on a nice dress, do my makeup, sort my hair out. Well, yeah, and just enjoy the day. I cannot wait for Freya to be back. You guys have no idea. Hello, I am ready for the day. I have made a little bit of an effort for Easter. Freya's gonna be back in like 45 minutes. I've just got on like a little cute white dress and neon green bra which was kind of a bad choice um and then a little blue bandana i just thought i would wear like a cute little summery outfit it is so warm and i can't tell if it's this temperature outside or if it's just because my room is scorching from having blow dried and straightened my hair but i'm sticking my arm out the window and i can't feel a breeze yeah it's lovely it's absolutely divine right little hair change i've decided to do these little half up half down i really love this hairstyle especially in the summer i just feel like it's really summery and cute and i've put in some earrings from oliver bonus i'm just kind of loving life right now i just can't wait for freya to be back because it's been one week too long since i last gave her a squeeze look who's back hello to all my fans hi uh just she's to... been away while my video my our shot video went up and basically all of you were nice in the comments and now freya thinks that she's you know beloved by the internet <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you think that freya and i should just make a joint channel people are hunting outside our windows and we just want to kind of avoid it really last night we saw a spectacle unlike any other two deliveroo drivers with flaming swords battling one another on bicycles Sure. I'm not joking. <laughs> ask ask long hair Dan and Ethan. Right, we are cooking a roast dinner for Easter. <laughs> but we actually can't figure out the bloody chicken. Freya's mum bought us all the stuff for roast dinner and she's just got us pre-made everything that just needs whack in the oven. You know it's chicken for cooking. Chicken's cooked, don't you? No. <laughs> Hi guys, so. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, there we go. Evidently, um, I'm not a big YouTuber. Let's see what I've done to cake in. Um, do you want a room tour? Okay, fine, I'll give you one. So, <coughs> we start with the boys outside the window. We've got our lovely fridge. This is the shelf that should have been in there. That's now broken. This is our incredibly clean um, thing. This is our soon to be epic roast, am I right? Look at our chicken. I'm your we chicken. now need to, I feel sick. <laughs> We now need to watch a YouTube video on how to carve a chicken because Lord knows that we don't have the answer to that question. Right, look at our roast dinner, guys. Look at this. We've got pigs in blankets, potatoes, veg, and chicken. I mean, all we're missing are Yorkshires, but you don't normally have pigs in blankets in a Sunday roast, but you would have Oh, do you? To me, they seem like a Christmas thing. I don't know. It's COVID test time. I've got to do COVID tests to uh. Get in the building for our lessons. Do you remember when you had um, a gangrenous mouth and you had to do it? Dissolved the swab. I didn't. That was in your mind that that happened. Pass it on. The woman on 111 thought I had guys. I was like, babe, it's impossible. Coronavirus. Do you have a feeling? Uh huh. She's really good. No. Woo. I'm negative, bitches. Do you want to see my new plant? I've not named it yet. 
What do we think? Christina Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> COVID tests done. Here are our negative test results, guys. Here's my negative result. And here's Fergie's negative result. Wow, so pretty. Hi everyone, uh, is it rolling? Hi everyone. Okay, so basically the reason we came here is to I'm joking. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, you know, smash a huge thumbs up. If you need to my channel, subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed my Easter weekend. I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>